everybody, Julia Gonzalez here. I am so excited. We are in Mendoza, Argentina. And you know, it's no secret, Argentinians know how to make great steaks. So that's what we're here for today. I'm gonna share with you some great places here in Mendoza that you can enjoy some amazing steak. Nestled in the foothills of the Andes, Mendoza is an absolute gem. It's a place where the world of wine, adventure, and natural beauty collide. This city is synonymous with vineyards, and it's no surprise because it's one of the premier wine regions in the world. But Mendoza isn't just about sipping on world-class Malbecs. <laughs> We're in Argentina! And if there's anything I know about my visit to Buenos Aires, is Argentinians take steak to a whole other level. So let's go see what Mendoza has in store for us. Inside the gorgeous walls of Bodega Los Toneles, you'll find the 2022 People's Choice Award winning restaurant, Abrasado. Abrasado's signature is its dry aged beef methods, and it's the reason we're here tonight. I wanted to check out directly behind our table this beautiful display of their dry aged meats. In essence, dry aging is when you take a piece of meat and put it into a controlled open air environment to go through a flavor transformation. The dry aging process allows the meat's natural enzymes to break down the connective tissue, resulting in a more tender steak. The process also causes the meat's moisture to evaporate intensifying the beefy flavor and creating a unique taste and texture. Provoletta with mushrooms on top, basil, and peppers. Yeah, go ahead. And this is the... Steak and banana. Try the provoletta first. Holy cow. No, it's delicious. Let me try the uh, empanada. I'm sorry, I'm a little over excited. I'm excited about food. Oh my god. Yeah, there's some kind of like sauce in there. Is that it? No. Like in like it was like marinated. Like the meat's been marinated. It's delicious. Wow. Now what we've been waiting for. This is the bone in ribeye dry aged in whiskey. I mean, it's wow. It's very delicate. <laughs> Gracias. So perfectly done. Delicious. I love it. It's tender, it's juicy. Oh my goodness. Just a hint of salt. Delicious. Wow. Mm. It's just 
just a touch of fattiness on the meat. This is just like that extra flavor. Oh my goodness. A little saltiness. Mm, it like melts in your mouth with the, the fat. Look how big this food is. It's huge. It's huge. So the food was amazing. The service was so sweet, so nice. I, I mean, everybody that came to our table was just fun, energetic, lovely. Uh, I loved the huge uh, salt and pepper shakers. What was a, a pepper grinder? I loved that. Really, really great meal. As always, I like to be transparent on the cost, so you know what to expect when visiting the places I share with you. So we had a bottle of wine, two appetizers, and we shared the dry-aged ribeye. Our total was $75. You can tell that Don Mario is a local favorite here in Mendoza. As soon as we arrived, we couldn't help but notice the warm greetings and hugs exchanged between patrons and staff, and it felt incredibly welcoming. Don Mario is not just a friendly local place, but they're known for their Argentine barbecue. And that's why we're here. So we got the provoletta. Um, it also came with pancetta and some roasted peppers. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is delicious. I like how they added the meat on top. It gives it like the extra like strong flavor. Mm. It's delicious. This is the tomahawk steak. It's huge. It's as big as my head. Wow. Gracias. Wow, this is like one of the most impressive steaks I've ever seen in my life. I mean, the presentation is amazing. Look how tender, juicy. I mean, this is how my brother loves it when the blood's just like running out a little bit. Oh my God. Oh, it's delicious. It's so tender, so fine. There's definitely a hint of saltiness. Like they hit it with the salt at the end. Mm. That is delicious. So I know we don't have a ton of footage from Don Mario, but we were trying to be respectful because it is such a local establishment. We wanted other patrons to enjoy their dinner and not deal with us tourists filming everything. Wow, that was so nice. All right, so Don Mario is the real deal. Such a wonderful place to have dinner. We had the provoletta. We had uh, the tomahawk, tomahawk steak. Uh, they gifted us a bottle of wine. We also had a bottle of wine in there and we paid $40. I just can't get over it. Such a wonderful place. And I have to say that steak was one of the best that we've had in Argentina. So, wow. So tonight we're at Bistro M. How we came across this place and wanted to come here is we were walking by the other day and we noticed the chef was outside grilling up some fabulous meats. We're like, we want what he's cooking. So we made a reservation and here we are tonight. 
I really enjoyed this table because I had a full view of their wide open kitchen. Being able to see the chefs preparing the food in the oven with the open fire, it's just a lot of fun for me. Our meats have arrived. And on the plate, they're accompanied by chimichurri and the Argentinian salsa criolla. In addition, we have roasted vegetables, rosemary potatoes, and a pumpkin puree. Ooh, it's like so easy to cut. <laughs> you can tell it's a really good steak. So I got the New York strip steak. It's prepared, I would say medium, medium to well. Oh, it just, it looks so juicy, it's delicious. Oh, wow. Tender, juicy, perfectly cooked. We are messing around with meat around here. Delicious. Mm. I love it. <laughs> All right, sorry, my bad, guys. As I got deeper into the cuts, it was more of a medium grill than it was a medium well. It's delicious. Um, but hey, that's why we dive deeper. We keep going into the bites. <laughs> after that. That steak was so good, but so fulfilling. My husband and I decided we probably should have shared the entree. <laughs> They're both so full. So for tonight, the bill over at M Bistro, we had four glasses of wine between the two of us. Uh, we had the starter, which was the meat and the cheese tray, which was divine. He had the ribeye steak. I had the New York strip steak. Our total was $67. Tonight, we're at Lanier's Restaurant to try some more of that amazing steak that they do so well here in Argentina. Lanier's specialty is wood fire cooking and focuses on grilled meat. In addition to beef cuts, there's goat, lamb, and salmon. The other fundamental pillar of the restaurant is a high quality wine cellar that has selections by region, type of soil, and varietals. A varietal is a wine made primarily from a single named grape variety. I got the Chardonnay. He got the Malbec. Mm, delicious. Now for why we're here. I ordered the Picanha. My husband ordered the ribs. The plates were accompanied by a refreshing kale salad and some french fries. Look at that. It's so pretty. Look at how just perfectly done that is. Oh my god, that's delicious. That is such a yummy piece of meat. Oh my goodness, it's so tender and it like melts in your mouth. I barely had to chew it. Oh, gracias. Oh my goodness. I mean, that is just perfection. Mmm. It's so tender, it tastes so perfect like it's like a healthy wonderful piece of meat this is the picanha i don't think i said that it's the picanha it's just wow mm. that is delicious Thank you. Thank you, Argentina. I love you so much. I love it. I'm not sure why, but tonight we felt adventurous. 
(laughs) And we decided to indulge in dessert. And we shared the flan, which was accompanied by some vanilla ice cream and dolce de leche. So what a delicious dinner tonight. Love the steak. The salad was amazing. The service was great. Uh, So to break it down as far as price, uh, my husband had the ribs. I had the picanha. We shared the salad. We had some french fries. We each had a glass of wine. And the total cost was $32. So that concludes this week's video. I hope you enjoyed all the amazing steaks. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you know when my new content's coming out. We have a lot more coming from different countries. We'll see you on the next video.